<clears throat> I'll be yelling. I'm watching it work. Oh. Good morning, Tina. The Plague's outfit is really cool. There's Skylar Puppy. Good morning, Omar. Okay. This. All matches are double XP. Stocking up on iridescent shards. Hop in and receive double XP from all matches until April 23rd. So we got um, uh, a week. Of double XP. That's pretty good. Safe a sound. What's up, Granny Big Toe? Angie plays. Let me click this. Get this going. How's Jordan doing? Doing significantly better, knock on wood. Touch wood. Edit stream info. Okay, we're playing the game over here on noise again. The prediction for those of you. Who enjoy that? Okay. That nah, we're gonna pop out the noise chat. What else do we need? I feel like we need something else here that I'm missing. Um so we're gonna go to few elements, keep track of this. It's a glitter. That's why I use headphones. Well, it might look weird at, uh, at work having headphones on unless you're going low profile with the earbuds or something. Do 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 party animals. Touch wood. I don't know if you know that superstition. Knock on wood. You know that superstition what do we got here the days gone by collection they actually have two uh two banners for this but they're only using the one i guess i'm allowed to use mine okay a wanderer in a decaying city a tortured boy drawing away the pain a young producer studying her idols. A gamer who spent hours on the customization screen. Haven't we all been there? Reflect on days gone by with new very rare outfits for the plague, the trapper, Yun Jin Lee, and Feng Min. Wander in a decaying city. A tortured boy drawing away the pain. I don't know if I would have like recognize they were talking about the trapper just by that sentence the mobile skins are clean you think so i kind of wish they were uh <coughs> more true to the original release instead of these recolors oh wait i don't want to play yet i want to go to the store like this one might not be oh this one might not be as noticeably different. I'd probably have to bring them up side by side to even know what the difference is. Justice for the Dino Dwight tail, right? What's up with that? No new banners. Oh, you mean in the corner here? No. These seem like they're released with little fanfare. So the one that was most disappointing to me was this Oni skin. Like, the colors are so muted compared to the one in mobile. I don't know why they aren't just using the same color scheme. Wonder why they're making them be recolors. Wonder if I can find it. Uh, 
Yeah, okay. Well, let's see, uh, this right here. This is my video I made almost three years ago now. November 2021, I was like, how come we can't get these skins in, from mobile in core? And now they're here. But that's what they, that's what that, um, that's what this Oni looked like originally with the, the red and gold. I don't know why they went away from that. So let's see what this trapper looks like. So it looks like, uh, hmm. yeah, I mean, the recoloring isn't as noticeable here, right? Just the armor. The armor is uh, just more steel colored instead of bronze, I guess. I don't, this one I don't mind. This is, I'm, I'm just happy that this one is here. He has bird's feet. The Tengu Oni. So what else was released with this? Magician Dwight, Tengu Oni, um, Harasu Tengu, Magician Dwight, and then the the Night Out David. I think it was. Okay. Anyway, they're here. Some form. Maybe because they want to make some cosmetics exclusive to mobile to attract people to the game. I don't know. Alright, I'm definitely getting this one, though. Because this was like, I was like, oh man, why didn't we get this with our Greek legends? I don't actually know what the back of this one looked like on mobile, because I don't... Did I ever own it? I'm not sure if I ever had this one on mobile. I don't remember this big basket on his back. Hidden Wishes. Hidden Wishes. Evan locked himself in his room and grabbed his sketchbook. He knew he'd be in trouble if his father found out, but he had to escape, even for a few minutes. Eye of Wrath. He sketched a one-eyed monster with the same fury he saw in his father's eyes. He hated what he drew, just like he hated him. Polyphemus is the name of this, right? Greek legend Cyclops. Seeking strength. Evan could hear his doorknob jiggle. His father was trying to get in. He drew the rest of the monster, imbuing it with primal rage as his father tried with all his might to break down the door. This is a very... So, days gone by. Is this supposed to be like in their early life? Very, uh... Different kind of flavor text than I would have thought. The mythical blade, his father, his father's yelling ceased, and silence filled Evan's room. He finished his drawing by giving the Cyclops a blade that could tear anything apart. Hmm. Interesting. Go back to that Oni one. What else has been released for days gone by? Trap are kind of thick with that cosmetic. I never did buy that only one either. I guess I could buy it now. I have enough shards. I don't know. I was just looking at the only one and I was like, why would I ever, you know, why would I ever want to wear this instead of this or this? I'm like, these are way superior outfits, you know? 
I wanted them to bring this for so long, and then when they brought it and I saw the different color scheme, I was like, eh. He does have cute little bird feet, though. I don't know, it just seems like a downgrade from the mobile version. And this was way back before um, we had our new mobile version. Tenguoni, yeah. Rasu Tenguoni. This is from mobile. Yeah, the the they've been kind of like some of these days gone by mobile portovers have been a little uh under the radar. They don't seem as enthused about these releases as the others. I don't seem like they talk it up that much. I am gonna go ahead and buy this with shards though, since I have enough shards. Are the survivors there? Some of them. I mean, not all the mobile ones. We only have a couple. Okay, anyway. <laughs> this Oni's not even out today. This has been out for a while. I just never bought it. The one that's out today is this one. Now, this one I don't remember. I guess I could dig it up, what, the, what it looks like on mobile. Desperate Plea. Adderis traveled outside the city walls to gather her thoughts and make a critical decision, one that could be the key to appeasing the gods. It does kind of sound like they made these backstory cosmetics. The pasture, the pasture once filled with life was now a graveyard of decaying rams amidst the desolation she heard the faint bleat of a starving animal. She grazed the ram's overgrown wool, preparing for the sacrifice she hoped this time they would hear her plea. She swung the censer while praying and pleading, but the ram breathed its last before she could act, depriving her of an offering for the gods. Dying breath censer, grim truth or so, and the bleak vision headpiece. Yeah, this is a nice one though. I really like it. I wonder what it looks like. Let me see. Yeah, I don't even think this... This looks like it's... Um, this looks like it has a different headpiece. Now, maybe maybe there's a couple different mobile legs. Must be looking at the wrong one. There must be more than one leg. Looking... This is what I'm seeing for the Plague Mobile exclusive. Doesn't look the same. Yeah, I don't really see any similarity there. But she must have more than one mobile exclusive. That skin, that looks like a skin from the Blood Moon event that didn't make it in. Leg skin. Okay, here it is. Yeah, I guess she does have more than one NetEase cosmetic. So this is her mobile skin. Now, this one's the base. I 
I don't actually mind this recolor. I don't know. So on mobile, what they do is they release an exclusive and then they put it at three different rarity levels. That you try and get in their uh, their gotcha game, you know. This ashen and red that we got is so much better than the ones on mobile. Like I kind of agree with you. Looking at the these neons here, like assuming that this. Um, uh, the green one is base, and then the one in the mil middle is silver, and then the one on the right is gold. I'm assuming that's how it went. So if you look at the base one, I kind of prefer the one that we got. The one we got looks most similar to one in the center, I guess. The gray and red's really nice. Yeah, I, I like this, uh... This plague one, I think that's a that's a cool one. Let's see here. Mm -hmm. See if I get. Oh, okay. So is this you all Yunjin here on mobile? Is there a banner? Uh, let me see. Oh, okay. I keep thinking you're meaning like <laughs> art that they did to promote the cosmetics, but you mean like a banner that's in the corner? As far as I know, there isn't. I don't think so. This is the best plague skin currently in the game. That's a nice one. I like it. Uh, I don't think I'm going to buy it right now. I'll wait for it to go on for sales, I think. Moving on. Well, this is the Yun Jin. So... On the left here, that, I mean, that's not very different at all. Just maybe the colors are a little more muted. That's the mobile version. But they had like a whole crew. You could. <laughs> Who was on the right? I don't know. Let me see. You know, they call this the full vitality. Oh my gosh. They have. They have nine of these. Let's see. Uh. Meg? It's Meg. It says this picture is. Yeah, it says this picture is Feng Min, Yun Jin, and Meg. Yeah, I, I can see it in the face now that I look. That's Meg. That's Meg. Here, let me show you the others. They have nine of these. The full Vitality Idol collection. Uh, I'll put these in a little slideshow here. I don't know why they wouldn't just give us all of them. Vitality Idol. Okay, let me, uh... Let me slow this down here so it's not going by so fast. It seems kind of rude to just give us one. I don't know if they don't want to like overwhelm the community with the amount of cosmetics, like a collection of nine. We just get one of them. So it's uh, Claudette, Zarina, and Elodie. Jane, Kate, and Nia. And Fengmin, Yunjin, 
and Meg. And when did these come out? November 23rd. They, these all came out on mobile. We got one of them from days gone by. I don't know. You think they'll bring the rest or what? Like, if we push for it? I, well, I think it would be cool to have a squad in theme cosmetics. Not linked. No, not linked. So those are the ones you can get with mobile, but us here, our little poverty core players, we can only get Yunjin. Only chance, yeah, this is our only chance, our only chance to get a Vitality Idol. Yunjin skipped school to attend a street concert. She couldn't afford regular shows, so this was her chance to experience live music for free. Since they're so similar, they should bring all of them people can buy one for the survivor they love the most i completely agree i think they should be available for everybody i don't know why it would only port one it's a weird decision to me the idol raised her captain's hat and winked at the cheering crowd yun jin felt jealous wishing she was up there herself one day her beating heart she leaned forward studying their chore choreography while admiring the starry night pattern of the idol's jacket Outstay, she lingered long after the band left and the crowd dissipated, dreading the thought of going home. So it's interesting that like the all the flavor text for all these is written as if it's like early early life stories for each character. I wonder if that is the way the flavor text is on mobile. Does Behavior have to pay NetEase to port these skins or do they own the rights? I'm not really sure. I'm not sure what the uh what the agreement is there. I'm assuming that they probably have to... Huh, I don't know. Uh, like, you wouldn't think it would be licensed because I was just able to buy the, um, the Oni with shards, the older one, right? So if it was licensed, I don't think I'll be able to do that. So I'm not really sure what the agreement is. Cause it, but if they were having to pay, they would probably be Oryx Cells only, right? Yeah, days gone by. So it seems like it is like tribute to the character's past. So I'm wondering else what else is in this days gone by. I wish we had the new store and I could just search it and see what all the days gone by um, cosmetics are. What was the other one here? Let's see. Um, okay, the nurse and Dino Dwight was one, right? There's an anguished nurse. Let's see what that one looks like. This one here. Sally watched the woman dressed in black roam through the asylum corridor. So this is like from her past as well. Mm, I can't even look at it. The nurse skin is the Nightingale armor. Yeah, this one's linked. So this is from her past. And so what's the Dwight's description for Dino Dwight? Dino Dwight. An outfit to spend the weekend binge watching a new series with his friends. So not really. Um Not really descriptive enough that we would realize that it's from his past. Hmm. Did the PTB updates drop today too? No, we got another week for that. Just new skins. So this one isn't like as evident that it's from his early life. You know, you're never too old for sleepovers, right Dwight? He bought the hoodie for its design, but didn't anticipate that the dinosaur teeth would tickle his face. I mean, it's very apparent when it's like Trapper and his dad. That is Slasher Radio. So what is this one? 
see if I can find a there an entire collection for this. This Fungman has a few Fungman has a few different exclusives, I'm not gonna lie. Gamer Girl. Yeah, I'm trying to, I don't know. There's a few different mobile Fung Min skins to try and find which one. Like she even has one of those Vitality Idol ones too, right? I don't know, I can't find what collection this comes from. Oh, and she also, like, okay, so how du there's Dino Dwight. They have uh, a ducky Fung Min, too. Like, there's a whole, there's a whole set of those as well, right? I think this is just one group of them. I think there's actually two collections of these. Yeah, here. Let me show you this, along with Dino Dwight. Here's the others that we didn't get. So they have two sets of these. So we only got Dino Dwight. We didn't get, I think that's uh, Squirrel Jake, Ducky Fung Min, and I don't know, what is that? Wolf? Wolf Meg? We only got the Dino Dwight, but we didn't even get his tail. We we got ultimately shortchanged. Not only did we get it, we didn't get his friends. We didn't get his tail either. But yeah, there's a, I don't know. There's about 10 of those animal hoodie ones on mobile. Now I need Ducky Fung Min in my life. All right, let's concentrate on what we do have instead of what we don't have, I guess. Ideal self. Fung spent the evening personalizing her player character. The endless possibilities before her were captivating. Oops. Screen reflection. She could create a character that truly reflected her personality, free from the rules and constraints her parents put on her. The perfect combo. Min was so absorbed in picking the perfect vest for her character, she didn't even notice her father had come home. Guitar, baby. Poor connection. She snapped out of her reverie when her father pulled the plug. She stared at the black screen, thinking of how her character would respond to such strict rules. Why does mobile get more cosmetics? I, I guess because, like, I don't know. <laughs> It's a big revenue stream for them. 
All right, let's rock her first. So we've seen all four. Did I? I bought the Yunjin. Did I? Mix and match. So if we wanted to wear this, but with a different hairstyle, we could. I like that. You know, if you're not a hat fan. Try her Rift Cosmetic with the purple hair. Uh, I don't know which one that is. This? I don't know. Oh no, it would be in this. Wow! She's been doing hard drugs at this concert. Hey, Matthew Lion King. Oh, the um, the no spin one. Let me see. Where is that? Is it this? No. I don't even know if I can recognize it. This one. Good morning. That's pretty cute. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> good, good luck with anything else here. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That oddly, that oddly fits together seamlessly. This torso piece and that skirt, it's like spot on color match there. Wow. Thank you, Matthew. You have fun too. Yeah, other than that, I don't know. Good luck to you. Her Iron Maiden shirt. Her blue jacket matches your lights. Oh. Okay, let's see. Ah, uh, I don't know. Ah. Oh, it's got the Ferrari striping. I don't know. Let's see. I was like, oh, those pants are bad, but then I don't like the stripes. A tortured boy drawing away his pain. Yeah, that's obviously the the youngest of the backstories there, I would think. Not bad. The long pink skirt. This? Ah, my eyes! I need the plague skin. What the? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. What in the lorry strode? This is her frog butt. Frog butt outfit. Yunji and Jin is the queen of the cursed cosmetics. I don't mind some of these. Maybe Leah, like the hairstyle is your best bet. We're swapping. Yeah, the plague outfit looks really great. <laughs> I, I can't believe how oddly this works. I don't know. This one is like, it looks so seamless. 
you told me that was the way it came off the rack, I'd be like, huh? Yeah, okay, I believe you. Mm -hmm. Keep her shirt and change her head and skirt, please. Yun Jin, Curse Cosmetics. Have you ever heard of a man named Joe Navasquez? Oh, wait, sorry. Wait. I, I don't even know what else I would wear. Honestly, I don't even know what else I, I would wear. That doesn't look terrible. Pog in below. Gabriel Soma, even more cursed than Jonah. Try her black skirt with the red shoes. Uh... Huh? This? Girl. <laughs> no. No, don't do that. Don't wear this in the fog. You can't be in my lobby if you wear this in the fog. Holy cow, the quality of these new skins are insane. You got all the cosmetics in the game? Not all of them. Pretty close, though. Pansy! When we play next time, you'll see my new Yunjin outfits. Ah! Help me! Okay, we'll go back to... We're gonna play base. We're going into into the game and we're gonna play base. I have all the survivor ones. There's some killer ones I'm missing. Show me the other one. Uh, well, who did I just show you? I didn't show you Feng Wen. Frozen ghost face with the red devil mask. Shut up, Polly. Those white pants go so well with that top. It's pajamas. Try her orange shirt, please. Who are we talking about? <laughs> I, have, I have a lot, ghost face. What orange shirt? Her long orange skirt. This one? I wouldn't say that's orange. I would say it's red and gold. We can buy deep rift hair. No, I have uh, I have this filter on that says like show everything I own. So it shows me things that I earned in events and things. I guess that would work. I don't know. I guess these would work. Is it better than what comes with it? That one's kind of cute, I guess. Got options for sure. Oh, the electric blue color. Oh, I thought you saw something in my door here. Yeah, she's definitely got options.
she probably has the most mix and match ability of of any of any of them all well, of the two i guess we didn't really do any mixing and matching with the killers did we i don't know why you'd want to mix and match the killer ones Her event mask, please. Yeah, she has a lot of, uh, a lot of swap ability. Much more than Yunjin, I would say. Okay, let's go play. So these I'll buy in the future. This will, this will probably be what I'm going to have my eye on to save my shards up for. I actually am kind of regretting buying that Tengu Oni now. But, you know, I got four weeks to save up shards. Cursed killer design cosmetic. Let's see. Here we go. Watch this. Watch this. Hold my beer. Ready? Oops. Ta-da! <laughs> Did you look at Trickster? It's not a new one. That's kind of cool. <laughs> it's giving do knees. And I'm do knees. <laughs> well, what if we did that? We recorded. <laughs> what if we made the most beautiful cosmetics? For the survivors, be like, I'm Kate, dun, da, da. I'm Jane, dun, da, da. I'm Zarina, dun, da, da. and then we pick somebody who's dressed up so bad, and we go, and I'm Doonies! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That might that might have to be a thing now. You came up with that. All right, let's go play. <laughs> Keep Polly out of the skin meetings forever. Who should it be? Should it be like Nia? I guess we'd have to figure out who we can dress up the absolute worst out of all of them. And I'm Doonies. Okay, so you're going to wear that, so I'll wear the other one then. <laughs> uh, you want to go to the game or you don't care? Uh, I'll let you pick the map. And I'll just bring... I'll bring Hatchet Shack in case... In case you have picked a map that has a shack. I feel like Cheryl would fit that so well. <laughs> what if we could still make Gerald? And then we go, and I'm doing this. And it would be Gerald. <laughs> the James Cheryl put together. <laughs> Auto Haven. Oh, when's Denise joining the DBD survivors? Can I touch your that? I'm playing Dead by Daylight with my husband. Dun, dun, dun. 
with my boyfriend, dun, dun, dun. with my fiance, dun, dun, dun. with my by myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> uh. you might have just developed a banger of a a banger of a short we're gonna go viral on the tiktoks I put some mud in my bed, then I put worms in my bed, and then I put a cat in my bed, and ate it all up. Is that bad? Do, 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 do. <laughs> He found my down there. Auto Haven. Ooh, a killer brought us cake. That was nice. We need a new character in Stream Loots, and it has to be Dunice, Polly, please. Crazy Witch thinks Denise wants to play the next match. Oh my god, what has happened to my life? Oh, this is, uh, oh no. Okay. I predict nothing but stellar performances by Pauly. All escapes every match. Three to five gen loops every chase. Let's get it. Ooh, my skirt's flowy. The vital, what is the not vital idol? Vitality idol. You have to dress up bad when a Dunice card is played. Oh my gosh. And I'm Dunice Silverthorn. Think y'all are on to something. <laughs> I'm like, why are you running away? Myers and I'm Dunis. No, I needed to hit that one. I put too much pressure on myself. I was like, I gotta hit this, otherwise he's gonna know I'm back. Whoa! I just killed myself. Oh my god, he missed me! We're geniuses. With my by myself. This murdery man is gonna pop that tier three on my ass. You're gonna get killed! Hell to the no! You stay in here, sucker! Hell to the no! Hell to the no! Oh, hell no! Oh, hell no! Hell no! Oh my god, look at that! Did you see that swing? He has coup de grace, I'm certain of it. Did you see the length of the swing on that man?
Are we dealing with a permanent tier three, do you think? We might be. Oh, we're not. Day one of reminding Polly for the Dunese card. And I'm Dunese. Yeah. Where do you want to go, fam? Far away from here. I'm gonna try to go back to my... Ah! Oh, y'all finished that, Jen. Okay. All right, slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. Stop running around like a chicken with your head cut off. Take some time. Get a heal on here. He's in tier three again, so we can just try and wait that out. The circle comes back tomorrow. Trying to snowball. Yeah, let's get started on this gen here. Never mind. Is nobody on that side of the map? What's going on? Chocolate Daddy's on a gen. When is Blood Moon Part 2? Okay, he's back over there with Leon. So... Uncle Daddy and I stay home on these gens and then we're done, maybe? Question mark? I'm here, Leon. I'm here, Leon. I'm here, Leon. You're too damn loud, Leon. Okay, I'm going to get chocolate daddy's gin. Where is it? Is it in the shack? Where the heck is it? Damn, it is in the shack too. We gotta get out of here, Chocolate Daddy. Just forget this one. Just go get the one we were doing over there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, Leon. I, I thought you were useless. Until that very moment.
You have redefined value. Now, if you could not run around the gen we're trying to get here, that'd be great. He's pressuring their gen. I don't know where that gen is. I think Chocolate Daddy went back in the shack. Hopefully I can grab this. And this is going to put us in a way better position. If this one's done, then he has to defend those other two gens, which are not close to one another. He's chasing the Leon. Kamiko is healing. Which survivors have new skins? Yun Jin and Feng Min. Oh boy. Miko's on a gate. These are for the days gone by collection, so. He found my down there. Any player cards or avatars for these sets? Not that I'm aware of. They've been putting it in the news now, so I didn't see it there. I double pipped. Cirque du Bidet. How much tickets are for that show? Gonna take the map off. Medical devices. Got. It. Yeah, I like that. The hair that they chose swapped out the the hat for that hair. That looks nice. Loxie's back. Hey, Loxie and Karmas. Good to see you over there on Noise. Playing the Noise prediction game. Oh, did I turn my... I did turn my new closed captioning thing on, right? Yeah. Well, I'm glad that that kind of forced us to look for other options because the old one was glitching because it seems like this one is uh, pretty awesome. Do, 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 do. How does it spell Dunis? Dunis. <laughs> and I'm Dunis.
I don't think the trapper skin should be ultra rare. It's kind of bad. Well, you don't have to buy it if you don't. Well, they don't. I don't think they make anything but ultra rare cosmetics anymore. You know. I actually think that's a pretty good one. I think it fits in pretty seamlessly with the the Greek Legends collection, even though. For whatever reason, they didn't call it that. They called it Days Gone By. But I think it's pretty nice for... Greek legend skin. I wish we would have had it... Three years ago. What you should really be complaining about is how come we didn't get all of the vitality idols? I want my super group. Super trooper. My gosh, I can hear myself on the TV and upstairs and my son isn't even up there watching down here with me. Sweetie, isn't it like the bunny outfits from Silent Hill? Collection for Legion isn't what like that. The idea of buying them all. I mean, you know, I think this would be the way to go is just release all of these vitality idols, and then if you have a main, you can make her dress up in this of nine you know instead of having just you and Jin get the outfit and then if you want to get them all you can get them all you know I can hear my dad's voice echoing from a teenager do you own shares in the electric company if you leave a room shut stuff off I don't care about that <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I grew up with that generation, too, of why are we making the electric man rich? Stop wasting electricity. In or out, we're running air conditioning, all that stuff. Stop going in and out. You're letting all the air conditioning out. You're letting all the heat out. Why do kids love leaving lights on? You know, so the, the room will be prepared when they... And they come back or maybe they're just scared of the dark I've never been like a you know a thermostat dad who oh, touched the thermostat we're not paying to heat the outside I've never been one of those people but I have lived under the rule of those people so I understand it yeah the plague skin when, now that I've seen it in game, when I first saw the, the the banner advertising it, like the art advertising the release, I was like, eh. But now that I see it in game, I appreciate it a whole lot more. Going this way. Boy, Chocolate Daddy is clapping traps. When the hook pierced through the keyboard, that's why I'm not. That's why I'm not hurt so much when I come off of a big meat hook. Uh oh.
Let's see how's he gonna play this. Okay, wondering if he was hooking or what. Chocolate Daddy, you're probably gonna have to get that save. I don't know if I can get across the map over there in time. That's a basement. I know you're my friend and all, but this is a trapper. And that's a basement. And I ain't looking for no snowballs. It's supposed to be springtime. Jordan. Chat wants to know how you're doing, buddy. Good? How you feeling today? Pretty good? Okay, I think both doors are safe to leave. Oh, crap! I thought I... Uh, I saw it, but I thought I cut by it. Good enough, I did not. I saw it, but I thought it, that it was placed incorrectly and I could slide by. This is why I, this is why I don't like saving people in the basement from traps. Because normally that trap is set closer to the stairs, so I thought I could slide between there and the wall. Whoops. Much love to Jordan. Jordan's a man. Well, 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 basement again, huh? Yeah, that's why I don't like fucking going down here. And I told y'all, if somebody dies in the basement to somebody who has traps, we're like, no, fuck y'all. But no, y'all are like, go oh, save, where are you? Oh. Hi. Oh my god! All of that work for nothing! Hi, Mr. Avogado. Why would you take the window if you weren't sure if it was safe? You saw the man come through the doorway. You know that shit is safe. Why would you take the window? <sighs> Mr. Avogado. acting like you know the killer has to run away where all the survivors are swirling around hi like all the survivors are in that vicinity trying to pick up and you're like why are they camping <laughs> survivors on the ground everybody is trying to save them either picking them up with the heel or the pallet, and you're like, why is that? Why is that killer camping where all the people are? Why don't they go away from where all the people are? Stop staying where people live. Ah! 
Ah, damn it. Hello? 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 Is this Revenue Canada? Oh. Hello? Service Canada. Yeah, I don't know the reason why I got a call. I got a, a, a message on my machine that said you've canceled my, my social security number because of suspicious activity. Pardon me? Yeah, this is all news to me. I didn't know there was any any problem with my my social security number. Lost it? No, no, it's never I've never lost it. No, why would I give my social security number to anybody? Yeah, I, I, first thing first thing I did was I grabbed my wallet and I opened it up and I made sure that I have the card right here. R write down your first and last name? Why do I need your name? What is this about? Fuck me, fuck you. Oh yeah, it's a scam call. There's no, you, they call me with this recording that says, we've canceled your social security number because of suspicious activity. Press one to talk to a, a Service Canada representative to straighten out the situation. The situation that they want to straighten out is they want to steal your social security number. And they say, get a piece of paper and write down my name. Write down my first and last name. What do I need your first and last name? Please press one to speak to the scammer. And Paulie's like, hold my beer. Yeah, I, I love that. So what happened to me yesterday, I thought that's what this one was going to be, is I keep getting these calls that say that your Amazon Prime rate is increasing to $39.99 a month. And if you don't want to pay the new price, press one to cancel your Amazon Prime and people like, because it's such a successful scam because so many people have Amazon Prime that they think, what, my Amazon Prime is going up, huh? What, what are you talking about? So you you press one to talk to them and they're like, so do you want to keep the new plan for $39.99 or do you want to cancel it? Which most people are gonna say they want to cancel it. They don't want to pay four times what they're normally paying, right? So then they want to send you to a website, which is going to, like, be a lot of problems for you. And I'm, so I just get on the phone with them. I'm like, yeah, no, I don't I don't want to pay $39.99 a month. I want to pay $9.99 a month like I normally was. Like, so you want to cancel it, right? Yeah, 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 I want to cancel it. I want to cancel it. So they're like, okay, go to this website. And then I draw it out and I go... Okay, so I just go to my Amazon and they're like, no, no, listen to me. Go to this website. It's a special secure website. I'm like, okay, I'm on Amazon. I'm on my account right now. Listen to me. Go to this website. <laughs> Which part of Amazon do I need to be on? No, you need to go to the website I'm telling you. Why aren't you listening to me? <laughs> and so they're like, here's the website. A... And I'm like, A, W, W, E, 
E. Oh, wait a minute. I should be putting WWW in front of all this. It, that reminded me when you said W. So I should go WWW dot. And they're like, oh. <laughs> they're like, oh, stupid American. <laughs> So they're like, A-W-E-S, and I'm like, wait, let me guess, are we spelling awesome? Is your website awesome? Is this going to spell out awesome? And they're like, shut up and let me tell you. So it was Awesun, which as far as we got, A-W-E-S-U-N. I don't know what else. That was as far as we got with it. And then I was just finally like, you know... This is so funny that you think I'm actually doing all these things, that I'm actually typing this in or doing this at all when I'm really just wasting your time. And then he's like, you mother, blah, 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 blah. And he hangs up on me, right? So I'm like, okay, there's my job done, wasting the time. How do they get our phone numbers? Oh, it's just robo calling, it's robo calling. So then uh, here's the weird one, right? The guy got so mad at me and hung up. And then an hour later, I get the same call. And I'm like, oh, I get to do it all over again. So I answer the call and I start talking to the person. And it's like a different person, right? And so I'm talking to them doing basically the same thing that I did. Well, I guess the guy I had talked to the first time was like within earshot or he could hear or monitor this guy's call. Because then my call waiting goes, and I'm like, oh, hang on. Can you hang on just a second? I have another call. I'll be right back, like, really quick. I just need to check who this is. So don't go away, because I want to keep scammer on the line, right? But I also want to see what this other call is. So I answer the other call, and it's the first dude. And he's like, will you suck my dick? And I'm like, oh, the, something is up here. He knows it's me. So then I just hang up on him and I go back to the other guy. I go, okay, okay, I'm back. It was just like a, a rude, uh, a rude prank call. I'm, I'm back. And so I start going through with him for, with him. And then before I get to the part where I act like real stupid, his buddy must've like tapped him on the shoulder and told him like, this guy's messing with you. And then this guy says, will you suck my dick? And I'm like, <laughs> okay. So they're definitely in the same office both telling me the same thing but it was weird that the first dude called me back like straight called me back and i'm like yeah these guys are mad and i'm like oh this is hilarious how you and your buddy are are so wrecked by me messing with you I'm like this sounds like it's probably the only action both of you are gonna get asking me for this <laughs> I would have said to the second guy, <laughs> yeah, why don't you and your buddy just 69 and help each other out since you're in such a bad way? <laughs> but I never had that where my wife's like, well, do you think that's dangerous? Like they've marked you and they're calling you. I'm like, why don't they just take me off the stupid robo list then and stop calling me? They're just allowing me to waste their time. Like, you think it could be dangerous? I'm like, I'm pretty sure they're not even on the same continent, hon. I don't think they're coming to get me. Mm -hmm. I mean, from what I've seen on, on uh, the videos of the scammer payback, all that stuff is happening overseas, right? Yeah, Kid Boga. Yeah, I've watched Kid Boga. I was just like, man, they, I'm sure they get that all the time where they just get people who frustrate them or tell them they're scammers. So just water off a duck's back. But I just was shocked that the guy called me back. I'm like, he's got to be in the same cubicle, like next to the same person. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I mess with them and ask them how their mother's feeling about what they're doing, right? Like not, not a single person 
doing that scam is making their parents proud with their choices, you know. I stopped a woman in the grocery store from getting scammed, overheard her combo, and I was like, stop! They're always like, STF you, dumb bitch, listen to me! <laughs> I can always make time for the scammers, you know? Oh no, this is not a good idea. Hello. May I give you the heals? Would you like the healings? She has presented her bum to me. The healing dance. You won't believe how many times when I worked at Walmart, people thought they had to buy the gift cards for the person on the phone. It's crazy, right? It's like, yeah, so you owe uh, the IRS a lot of money. Okay, well, how can we settle this? So just give me like uh, $500 in iTunes gift cards. Like what? <laughs> Who thinks that that's real? I don't know. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. They almost got my dad with the gift card scam, but I straight up Liam Neeson that phone call. I will find you. People who prey on the elderly can go to hell. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Do we get a banner? I don't think so. I didn't see it in the news. We look and see if I got anything new that I didn't realize. These all look familiar to me. That's the same as I had before. I had one guy who was trying to buy four grand in gift cards. I get my supervisor and we asked him what was up. And he said that apparent that someone apparently gave him four grand and they needed them to buy gift cards to send the money back. Yeah, that's crazy, man. So that's one of those scams that you see like on Kit Boga where they show you your bank balance on a fake website. That they're like, yeah, we accidentally refunded you too much money. Like, in what world do companies accept Apple gift cards as a payment? Well, you know, as the war in Ukraine goes on longer, we found that what would help the Ukrainian people most is the power of music. So you send the IRS some of these iTunes gift cards, and they're going to send those directly to Ukraine. See? See? Makes so much sense. They tried that with my mom. Her dementia was bad at the time, and it took me an hour to calm her down and understand that it was a scam. Yeah, I mean, I, I, can, I can see it, that it would happen, that people would be, especially older people who aren't that familiar with technology, that they could get fooled. I wouldn't blame anybody, but, but the scammers. I almost got scammed uh, on my phone. I got a text from DHL saying that I needed to pay $6 in duty on something, right? And I had bought some shirts from Into the AM recently, and they used DL to ship to me from California to uh, Canada. And I thought, okay, I don't remember putting my phone number in 
on my order, but maybe it's there there and maybe i legit have to pay duty on my most recent order of shirts because it was six dollars it sounded like a reasonable amount and so i got this on my phone i'm like i'm gonna be careful but i'm gonna just check it out in case it's real jam thank you for the six months so i was another trapper so i was expecting a package from dhl and i got this text saying i owed some money to dhl so i'm like this could be real so I clicked the link on my phone and it took me to a website called deutschepost.com because DHL is German, right? But it wasn't the DHL website. It was this Deutsche Post website. And it was made to look just like... Ooh, that's bad. Gotta get out of here. It was made to look like the DHL site. Yeah, nobody wants to go near your thing there, buddy. Had enough of that tonight. So I looked at it, and I'm like, uh, Deutsche Post? What? And so I'm looking around the website, and it had it looked just like the DHL website. And it said things like, oh, COVID-19 update or Ukraine war update as far as delays in shipping. So it was like, put in your information here for your $6 payment. So I started clicking the other links on the website and everything that I clicked, it didn't take me to the COVID-19 update or the Ukraine update. It took me to give us your info. Every time I clicked it, it looped the website back to give us your info. And I'm like, yeah, this is definitely fake. Where's my COVID info? Where's my Ukraine war delay shipment info? It was just like, give us your info. I'm like, yeah, this is a scam. So I just blocked it in my phone. I always just go to the official site. I skip all the text crap. Double check what the link is. Very smart. Hey, you think we can do four more gens before Bamtris dies? Because I'm not real eager about going over there. Go over there at your own peril. saw how much they had that basement set up before you know anybody even went down in it i'm like not anxious to go whoa to go there again now we can see how much the random loves us are they gonna hold on for every last second even though three of us are on gens or are they gonna let go This, this, this vampstress can be on my team. They can be on my Starship Troopers team. I'm doing my part. These kind of trapper games are boring. Run away.
Run as far away from the basement as you can, Chocolate Daddy. I saw it one second too late. I tried to pull up. I tried to pull up the brakes. Oh, he's seen you. He has seen you. Say we ain't going in that basement. We ain't going in that basement. That's a GG. They just gotta get a gen done. They're both healed. They just gotta get together and get a gen done. No, he definitely had Iron Grasp. So I'm running my ass straight away from this basement. The bar was red. you where yet coming okay okay so let's get rid of this So we just need to identify another gen. It seems like he's trapping up that whole area there. We identify, careful, careful, careful. He's coming back, he's coming back, he's coming back. Okay, so we're just gonna retreat and heal. We're just gonna keep resetting. Okay, he's putting a trap down at that generator. So be careful. That gen we're working on, he has trapped it. I repeat, he has trapped that gen we're working on.
I haven't identified where another gen is. I don't know. There could be one in the shack. No interest in going in there. So there's a third one somewhere. Okay, there's the other trap on that side of the gen. That trap is on that side of the gen right there. Not go on the other side of this jet. He's trapping two sides of the jet now. You guys heal. Kamiko, can, can you get... Yeah, you guys just heal. I shouldn't have taken a chance. I should have just gone around and just gone for straight distance. Yeah, that's my bad. I should have just gone straight distance. I was looking on the other side of the pallet. Oh, I bungled it. There's two sides of that gen are trapped, though. Now that's a GG's for Polly. The only one safe side to that gen. There's no traps down here. Left and middle. All right, let me get out of this place. Hey, did you reset this trap? No. Okay, let's reset. On the bright side, with the new anti-3 gen mechanic, he can only kick that a certain number of times.
Ah! Let's see what he's doing. You know he doesn't want to stray far from that gen, so try and find an out of the way place to heal up. Reset. Oh, he's actually here with me. I think you got the gen done, Chocolate Daddy. I'm so shocked he has the noed. I don't believe it. What a shocking thing. He has no way out. Hello, injured lady. Give this trapper a thumbs down. I mean, it's a battle. I, I know this doesn't help you with Noed, but at least he won't be able to hear you. But now we're probably gonna have to deal with trap doors. We should probably each go to a door. Or maybe we should find this Noed first, huh? Wouldn't that suck if it's like in the shack? That'd be really bad. I think it's in the building. Uh, maybe it is in the shack. Oh, here it is. Okay. Is it trapped? Doesn't look trapped. This is what you call a battle. But he's definitely going to have trapped the doors. So, Kamiko, if you can go to the... Uh... So, Kamiko, there's Hatchet Shack. Can you crawl to the shack? Can you crawl to the shack, please? That's all the time I can give you. Me, you, me, you. You just gotta make it to the side opposite where the window spawn is. Uh, 
Oh, he's closed it already, it looks like. I knew he's gonna trap both those doors once I saw the no way out. I mean, he left Chocolate Daddy on the ground for so long. It was like, okay, he's definitely setting up to prevent us from getting out of these doors now. At least one of us got out. That was a battle, huh? It was a long one. Look at this, I almost maxed out. That might be, that just might be one of the highest survivor games that I got like naturally without farming for points. Double pip, 10K, 10K, 91.9, 97.50. That's pretty damn close to max 40K. I'll take it. Do 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 Iron Sky is here. He was just too afraid to commit to anybody, right? Because he was like trying to hold Jen, hold Jen, and he would just hit and run, which let us reset a lot, so. Give me my keytar. Do, do, do. Yeah, that trickster outfit uh, from last week, the tech wear thing. That'd be another one I'll probably look for for shards. I don't like the whole. What is it with this collection? And does tech wear, in another language, does tech, tech wear mean you have no neck? It's like we have this, and then we have the, the Jonah for tech wear. I don't know, man. Uh, he was relying on snowballing with the Noed and the No Way Out. Surprised he didn't trap the Noed, honestly. I saw, I tweeted out Husky's idea about that Jonah outfit looking like Steven Seagal. And Running Man replied, just when I thought this cosmetic couldn't be any more cursed. Endgame Trapper. Ha ha, you're a P100, Michaela. All the cool kids are rocking Fung Min today. Min, and, Min on the guitar. Bam! I think tech wear is black baggy pants and belts for all the inner edge lords within us. Do 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 do. One more hour until my pink Hot Wheel goes on sale. Hot Wheels collectors. Do I want this pink Mustang? I think I kind of do. Think pink. Wait, what do you mean sold out? I thought this goes on sale today. Huh? What? Did I miss a sale? Wait, what? 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 I did miss it. What? I, th I thought they usually go on sale at two o'clock. When did it go on sale? Must have been noon. Well, I missed it. <sighs> Want to see my pretty car that I'm not going to have? I did mess up. Well, saves me money.
Oops. Show you what I didn't get later. Oh, crap. I'm so sad. I wanted it. It looked great. I thought they usually go on sale at 2 o'clock. Must have been noon. Maybe I got mixed up, mixed up with the Funko release. I think that was a blight. You sound depressed, though. Ah, eh, I mean, it would have been nice, and I think it would. I think it would have had some secondary market value for sure, because there's a market for pink cars, and rare club cars but not the end of the world I'm not into the Hot Wheels like I used to be plus I haven't even renewed my membership with, with the Hot Wheels collectors of the Redline Club this year so it shows you how into it I am I would have had to buy the membership again for the year which isn't much it's like $10 for $10 you pay for the opportunity to have a chance at those rare cars you have to be a club member to buy them it's nice looking though and that's a very popular body for the mustang for bro what year is it uh is it it the 93 yeah i was gonna say is that the fox body I do have like the first Red Line Club Fox body, but it's a red instead of the pink. I have a 95 convertible Mustang that's like a project car. I put a motor from a 93 Cobra in it. Did you see that on Twitter that that Chrome Shelby Cobra that somebody did a U-turn and got smacked? <laughs> Some idiot did a U-turn and then got sideswiped because they took the turn too wide for the U-turn. Yeah, it's, it's like, what are you doing, man? Why? It was like a Shelby Daytona with the long front end. Yeah, it was gorgeous. It was like the chrome body. I'm like, what in the hell? You're taking chances just having that sucker on the street. And it like got, got ran into like some Toyota Camry or something. And people are like, oh, that poor Camry. <laughs> And the person who was filming it was like, oh my God, look at this. I've never seen a Cobra Shelby before. And then <laughs> they got it on video because they were just so impressed by the, the chrome finish of the car and then does this U-turn and crunch. Oh, you're good. I thought you needed the Heelys. You're fine. You're fine. Ugh.
Yeah, is that good timing or bad? Okay, so Chocolate Daddy got pushed off a gen that had quite a bit of progress on it, so we'll go looking for that after this. Assuming we can get this done. Coming here for you, man. Coming here for you, man. Ain't coming for me. Don't loop him. Take him away. You know I'm here still. Making my way downtown. He got kind of a bad building spawn here, I think. Oh, yeah. Get the Twitch TV and then you can write in your diary about it. Look at those doors. Ah. Ba -dum. Look at all those chickens. Buck, 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 buck. Okay, so let's look at what assets we have on the way. They got adrenaline. He really wants them, huh? They have adrenaline. Don't, don't get hit, don't get hit, get away. He's right there. The timer's a ticking, now you gotta heal. This is a hell of a long way. He's gonna get Kamiko. Yeah, the hell states have definite value. Can Kamiko get out of that side gate? No. Yeah, just crawl, Kamiko. Crawl, just crawl, Kamiko. Yeah, I don't think you can make it out. There's not enough time left here.
Don't. Why? Don't. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Go, 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 go! Ah! <laughs> Why would he pick you up? That was so stupid! Oh my god! If I had known he was gonna pick you up, we would have got out of there sooner! That was crazy. Lovely zombie. You were a great teammate. It's nice to find a random like you. I gotta go to work. Wait, Husky didn't see my Mustang I didn't get. This one here. Look how pretty that is. 93 Ford Mustang Cobra. I missed it. It didn't say how many. So, I don't know how much. Oh, it was 28, 28 US. $28 for a Hot Wheels car. Inflation. That's nice, dear. Lovelace zombie is good people. In this economy? Yeah. I mean, this happened before when uh, people didn't have money for cars and the production runs like went way low. And then once the economy rebounded, those cars wound up going for a ton of money because people wanted to get the ones they missed. The supply was short. Well, no Mustang for me. How much are they going for on eBay? What do you think? 100 bucks? Look. RLC Mustang Cobra. 93. Oh, that's not bad. 65. People want to make a double up. Here's one. 53. What are the sold prices? Yeah. 55 to 60. There's one for 53. Going 55 to 60. I have been disconnected from the host. Match server unavailable. LA. Sightseeing. Who wants to see the Shelby Cobra get mushed in real life? Me! Uh, 
Ready? Here we go. LA. Sightseeing. Oh no. LA. Sightseeing. Do not pass go. Shocking moment. Real life Monopoly car worth up to 600,000 pounds smashes into oncoming traffic outside an A-list hotspot. That hurts me, right? Watch it one more time. Your million dollar toy. LA. Sightseeing. Oh LA. no! Sightseeing. That chrome finish, man. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! Poor choice by the driver. Oh yeah, for sure. The idiot drivers totally responsible for that. Time for my daily mental health walk with the dog. Have fun, y'all. Nice. Why was he even turning like that? No idea. No idea. The Shelby Daytona. The Chrome Shelby Daytona. So what else should we buy instead, son, since we can't get our Hot Wheels? Should we buy some My Little Pony Funko Pops? What are these My Little Phony... Phony... My Little Phony Funko Pops. My Little Pony Funko Pops. What do we get here? They have, what's her name? Applejack. She's cute. How many Applejacks? 1,700? That Applejack's pretty cute, honestly. Princess Twilight Sparkle. Who is this? King Sombra. I don't even know who that is. Daybreaker. Who knows about My Little Ponies? I don't know who that is. The Applejack is cute. My Little Pony. See, they got My Little Pony. We got My Little Pony. These. These are going on sale today. Applejack's pretty cute. I'm not a brony or anything, but I do appreciate my little pony. Friendship is magic. You know what I mean? <gasps> my little pony, apocalypse pony. Okay, brony. Aw, uh, how could you hate on Applejack? She's a sweetie pie. Ooh, a spirit. I haven't played against a spirit in a long time.
Okay. I was gonna say we could keep working on this together till at least Kamiko took a hit. But whatever you think is best. That was a good chicken sandwich. See, because now we're in this situation where we didn't get it done. We could have let them hang for longer. And now nobody's gone back to the gen. I think quick saves are just like, there's, a, there's an art to it, you know? Like quick saves are situationally hurtful. Plus we got ruin or we had ruin. We definitely should have stayed home on that gen then. Like, I think at least until we see the person being chased take the first hit. I think saving before that is... Questionable. Of course, everything is situational, but... I think in that situation, Kamiko hadn't even been hit yet. And we're releasing off a gen that we could have gotten with a nearby hook teammate. No more needles. This one is fair distance to get there and the gen isn't close. But, you know, we didn't get that gen that we almost had done, so. Those are the things that make or break games, honestly. So screwed. So this was the original gen in here. What's this at now? Half. We're dying at five gens. We're dying at five gens. Seriously, ma'am? You're gonna camp her at five gens?
So you're saying that if I mend and I go find her again, I can take another endurance hit? Let's go see. For science. Interesting. Yeah, that's kind of broken. That's kind of broken. That's why, like, you know, unhooking is a lost art. I might not be the first one to go save somebody, but I'm very rarely letting anybody go into the next stage on hook, you know? Like, I'm always gonna be there as much as I can to, to either trade with them if I have to. Like, that just drives me up a wall. People who release early because they wanna be the one to go get the save instead of, like, locking in the objective that is actually gonna help us escape. Like when the person being chased hadn't even been hit yet. They hadn't even been hit. So what are we... Why are we releasing? What are we doing? Why aren't we locking in that gen? Especially in the face of ruin. But what? Kenzie sent me an important message. Let's read it. Kenzie's gonna hit Devotion 100 today. Devotion 100. I ain't talking about Prestige 100. I'm talking about Devotion 100. Devotion 100. Wow, I'm only at 22, right? Devotion 100. Kenzie's got like most hours in the game, basically. 22,000 hours in game. Number one all time blood point hitter. Got a 150 million blood point lead on the second place person. Devotion 100, yeah. Kenzie's got the most blood points anybody's ever earned in the game. Like I said, he has a 150 million blood point lead on second place. Devotion 62. Hey, guess what? I'm not coming to save you. Because I'm still upset about your early release not locking down that first gen.
Now I'm leaving. Do 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 do. It makes no sense. Everyone running for the hook with Kindred. Time for me to put Nemi and Merchant aside. I'm a plague main now that she got this gorgeous skin. It is a nice looking one. Double XP for you and me. You don't want these My Little Ponies? What is this one's name? Daybreaker. Is that a villain? Probably a villain, right? Daybreaker, my little oh, MLP. Oh, it is a villain. Daybreaker is a supporting antagonist in the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic series. She is depicted as the alter, the evil alter ego of Princess Celestia. You wear the Slipknot mask with the new Trapper skin. It's absolutely unhinged and cursed, right? The same as Nightmare Moon being the alter ego of Princess Luna. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about my My Little Pony lore. My Little Pony. King Sombra. I don't know that one either. I only know about my little Oni. King Sombra MLP. Is that a, a good guy or a bad guy? King Sombra is described by Princess Celestia as a unicorn whose heart is as black as night. So, bad guy. The tyrannical ruler of the Crystal Empire, the main antagonist of Season 3. Princess Celestia tells Twilight Sparkle that King Sombra took over the Crystal Empire a thousand years ago, but he was banished to the frozen north. Before his banishment, King Sombra put a curse on the Crystal Empire, which made it vanish into thin air. When the Empire returns, so does Sombra, who attempts to retake it. Ooh. That's some lore for you. Carry me, Penzi. Penzi, am I going to get to be in the game where you hit Devotion 100? You're at... You're at... Uh, Devotion 99, level 95 right now, right? Oh, Pansy! My little pony lore. He's gonna be 100. I'll play all night. How long do you think it'll get you take you to get four, four levels at XP boost? Dead by Daylight Leaderboard. This. I don't know, man, but I'm going to do it. Blood points earned. Penzi, 3.7 billion with a B. 3.722 billion blood points earned. And he has 150 million blood point lead on second place. The all-time blood point getter in the universe. It's Pansy! I love you, Pansy.
Oh. Oh golly. Oh golly. Oh, I should have taken it. I was faking it. Ah! I think I got nothing over here. Back I go. Can I make this? I cannot. Wow. Don't hook my keytar. It's brand new. Did you did you do damage? Oh, he didn't damage my keytar. He's lucky. He almost damaged my brand new keytar, everybody. Oh, that was narrow. Narrowly missed it. He might have nicked it. The frame of it. It'll be all right. Oh, that was scary. But consoles aren't included, so yeah. But like Penzi had like a you know a lead on everybody <laughs> from when it started, so I don't think it's uh I don't think you can recover that. Did y'all get that up there? What, did you dead man switch? What's going on? What's going on right here? I don't think there's anybody who can, you know. Uh, I think you can post a link, Penzi. I don't know. Are you VIP in chat? VIP should be able to post a link, I think. I think, I think. The biggest blood point earners on console like Pensy would have to take, you know, years off for them to catch up. Thank you for the healing. I lost a stack of distortion. Remember, that's on my main. We don't talk about my family share account that I have two hours, 2,000 hours on. Yeah, it's kind of hard to prove it, you know. All in one account is fine. Those are the stats that matter to me. How can consoles see that info? I don't think they can. Like, technically, you're not even really supposed to be able to see that info. But, uh... Steam like continues to gather information based on achievements even if you surpass the achievements and then it'll like collect it and keep all that data like how many escapes you've done all different kind of things there's a there's a special website that collects the steam data Would be nice like we asked about stats and things like that and they were like not even sure if they could access that information but i'm like well steam can do it you can't see your own info on console like to the degree of how many blood points you earned and how many survivors you've moried and how many sacrifices like those things right not the way they can on steam Okay, so we're gonna stay here and try and knock this out until Chocolate Daddy goes down or we get the gen done because Kamiko's right here and has a lot of blood on the hook. So we're just gonna push this gen. This Meg is my favorite because, ah! Well, Chocolate Daddy did go his game grab, so I get it. I 
I can see blood points, how many kills, how many heals, how many escapes. You can see that on console? Yeah? Interesting. Didn't know that. What console are you talking about? Just to make sure we're on the same page. As the people who are inquiring. On Xbox. Huh. Well, what do you know about that? PlayStation. Hmm. So Xbox has more intricate data available than PlayStation does? Okay, so we got a gen there. Xbox is superior for DVD stats. Sounds like it. I can go to my profile and then the DVD game and stats. Can you see like Mori's? Like how many survivors you've Mori'd? They provide a lot of info for multiplayer games, but the game itself has to allow Xbox to track it. So DVD tracks it passively. Xbox just shows it. So kind of like what the DVD le leaderboard does with Steam, I suppose. Okay, so he's got a sweet little 3 gen going here, doesn't he? Can I squeeze through this? No. It's a weird... It's a weird gen spawn. Oh, yeah. Look at this little... This little tenderoni he's got going here. No! I got stuck on the thing that I said I couldn't get through. Can I get through here? No. Tries to get through there. I guess he doesn't have a 3 gen. He has this. Look out! New target acquired. are called a feast for the entity. What's going on there? Are they resetting up there? What are they doing? Why are they both running around in the house? Ten minutes to find each other. Yeah, well, this is done for me. Don't come now. 
You can see the HUD, right? <laughs> is, that, is that you're gonna remember me? You're pouring your flashlight out for me? What was the point of that? Grace to Penzi, come carry me. I need a five gen chase. Oh, Penzi, you're in a match. Hurry up, Penzi. Okay, let's see. What does this say? I wonder what a perfect game is. Perfect games? Do you think that means, like, max scores? What would perfect game be? Four thousand seven hundred and fifty one perfect games. I wonder what that means. Perfect game is all iridescence. Ah. Penzi has four thousand seven hundred and fifty one perfect games. Has anyone gotten a perfect game without farming though? You mean like the, the forty thousand points? I, I came pretty close. I was like within uh what seventeen hundred? I had 38,000 something from that trapper game earlier today. Penzi! We getting a delivery son? Do you hear noises too? Or is it just me? I wonder if we're getting that air conditioner. Penzi has 15 generators repaired with no perks equipped. <laughs> wow, I can't believe that it keeps track of these kind of statistics. 42 hex totems blessed. 5,447 hex totems cleansed. Penzi! He go. Where did he go? Disappeared off of my list. Mm -hmm. Down here now. It says he's offline. Oh, coming in 30 seconds, man. Okay. 22,000 hours. 59,000 survivors sacrificed. 4,200 hatches closed. 3,000 hatch escapes. 76,000 gens repaired. 540,000 skill checks. Who's got the most skill checks? Danny. wonder who that is. Uh... Shows how many skill checks. Yeah. Penzi's second in skill checks to somebody named Zany. I'm trying to think who that is. If that might be... Uh, I don't know. I don't know who Zany is. Penzi! Is there more than one website for this? Maybe. I'm used to this, this one here.
Well, obviously these are the killer mains who have the most hatch closes. It's 9,700 hatch closes. Ooh, and 94,000 survivor sacrifice. Is that top killer? No. That's second place for top killer. 104,000 survivors sacrificed. They have a 10,000 lead on second place. Can we stack party streamers? Sure, if you want to. Find you something. I'll give you a party, streamers, Penzi. Was it a delivery, son? Where is it? Side door on the front porch. Does it look like that air conditioner stuff? How many boxes is it? Does PC have special kills like head pops, uh, like head pops as well? Maybe if I look more specifically. Um, survivors grab. Survivors interrupted while cleansing a totem. Let's. Oh yeah, here. Let, okay, here they are. Killer powers. 1,500 bear trap catches, 14,000 uncloak attacks, shock therapy hits, evil within tear ups, um, reverse bear traps placed, 3,130. Survivors down during nightfall. Survivors down while Victor's clinging to them. Survivors down while contaminated. What would contaminated be? Because it's not having max sickness. Uh, is that Nemesis? What would that be? Contaminated. Survivors down while intoxicated. Contaminated would be Wesker? I'm not sure. Might be. Survivors down by using dire crows. Yeah. Anything that's basically an achievement in game, it keeps the stats on those. give you the link if you want to like explore the leaderboard on a website and on a web browser and see oh it is chucky i wondered if it was going to be chucky oh it's tiffany <laughs> She gonna kick it? Yeah, she kicked it. Let's hide. Got away with it. Now we're gonna wait for Pop Petsy to pop the gen and have her react to that, and we'll go back to this one.
Oh, they got deadlock. I think. Or maybe they just got pushed off again. Not sure. Son, we didn't watch Chucky yet. We gotta watch it. Gotta save my sprint burst. death with deadlock nowhere to hide so she's kicked something she got nowhere to hide value again I'm gonna commit it This is being chased. Here we go. <laughs> On Kamiko still. Where's another gen? Kenzie and Chocolate Daddy are on a gen. So probably the upstairs gen is open. Because that's a two-person gen, so they can't be on that one. I mean a one-person gen, so they can't be on that one. Okay, they got pushed off of it. Do the heels. That yellow gen over there looks like that's the thing we should be aiming for. I lost another stack. I don't know if they have nurses. Yeah. So, are they the ones that made this gen yellow? Do I need to get out here and touch this thing? Don't, ma'am. That's last gen done. I'm gonna hang out for a minute. This gen, this door's hot. We're going to the other door. Kamiko's on it. We'll grab some heels off Kamiko if we can. Anybody there? 
Why did you run back in the map? As a fellow gray hair, I'm curious about your opinion on going next. I'm afraid my take is not appreciated. Uh, so what do you mean, like, going next? Like, if you feel a game is lost, that you let go on hook? Or, like, if you get found first, that you decide to take your jumps and let go? Like, what? Flesh that idea out for me a little more. so that I understand what we're talking about. Miss Chibi Goddess. Describe what your interpretation of going next means. Or do you mean going gray? Going next level of your hair and just let everything go gray. Are we talking just about hair? I need to get my hair under control. I feel like forfeiting for my own reasons. Solo queue frustration, sometimes petty. So if like you're down first and you're just like, screw this game. And you just try and take your jumps to accelerate your death in the game. Yeah, I don't really appreciate that. Oh, that's... To me, that's like not teamwork type behavior. Like even if you're solo queue, I feel like it's my responsibility to do the best I can, even if I'm gonna have a bad game experience to help the other people survive. Like that's, for me, that's what the game is all about. Like even if I die, if somebody else lives and I help contribute to that, for the most part, I should be you know, doing my all. If there's a game where we're in a really bad situation, like everybody's, you know, everybody's slugged or gonna be slugged. Like there have been games where I literally prevented someone from pulling themselves off into second stage because they were like down real quick and they wanted out of the game. And I said, nah, -uh, nah, -uh. You're staying in the game. And then we came back and won. And I was like, now look what would have happened if I would have let that person give up on the game. And then we won. So you never know what can happen, right? Even if you have a bad experience. If it's a killer, like, you know, if let's say there's a killer that nobody is appreciating right now. Go Merchant, I'll just go ahead and say the name. You know, we're not protecting names to protect the innocent or anything here. But let's say you see... A couple people just turn into bots, then yeah, that's not something you have to go play out, right? If Meg sandbags me twice in a row, probably unintentionally, that would be a situation where I would be like, yeah, I don't want to be a teammate to this person. <laughs> you know? I always go next on Dull Merchant. I mean, now that they have put that, the very important information about when you're going to be scanned and when you're not. I don't even find that I'm I'm most of the time even disabling drones. I'm just crouching. I'm just crouching in them. Like I'm running up and avoiding the beam and ducking. I don't generally disable drones. I just work gens in their presence. And I don't find it as bad as it used to be now. But yeah, I know there's a lot of people who just like I can't be asked with Skull Merchant. 
if other people dip, then it's like, ugh, I don't really feel like playing with bots. That I get. But for the most part, like, let's say you're being camped in the basement by an insidious bubba. You piecing out of the game is like exactly what that bubba wants you to do. Oh, I mean, the other thing he wants you to do is stay there and <laughs> have the team come and murder themselves in his altruism trap. But if the team is aware that you're being camped insidious by Bubba, I think it's like your duty to just stay in the game as much as possible. Because otherwise, you know, they're just going to do it to the next person that nobody's going to have a chance. I think it's like your duty to hang out on hook and try and uh, live on hook as long as you can to give the other teammates a chance. This may be a hot take, but I feel like DBD is stifled in creativity. People only want projectile and dash characters, but zoning and denial characters like Merchant and Knight are hated for unique powers. I don't really hate the Knight. Um, I just think he's difficult. <laughs> difficult to, to counter because he can just zone you. And then you're a goner, you know? Like, it's very hard to play on the edges of maps against a knight. So that makes it frustrating for me. Um, Skull Merchant, I just feel like, you know, they gave her these tools to play... to play a different style. Where, where are they? They gave her these tools so that she could play the game in a different way. And then they don't use them, you know? They made it so that she's stronger in loops and stuff, and they just still usually regen zone. So it's frustrating, right? I hate the night, but I love the Skull Merchant. I've actually... You know, there was a while there where it's like, I haven't lived for a Skull Merchant, like, ever, unless I got a hatch escape. Like, actually getting out of a gate against a Skull Merchant was, like, an impossibility. And it hasn't seemed as dire. Well, it hasn't seemed as dire as it was. So, because of my ducking strategy. But there have been games where we like own for four gens and then it all falls apart and she makes a massive comeback and it's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> I also have four kids and four dogs, so sometimes I just walk away from a match for life. I mean, I get that there's other things going on in, in life, but I don't know. I just think like if you're if you're readying up, you should be prepared to play the game out. Otherwise, you're doing a disservice to anybody who's in the lobby with you because you'd want them to do the same, right? You don't want somebody to load into a game and they're not prepared to play and they're gathering crows. You want people who are ready to play and are going to do their best for the team. So I don't think that's a big ask. Yeah, I don't think... The, it didn't say in the news that there was a, a badge or a banner. These mobile skin drops are kind of very low-key. Don't get me wrong. There could be teammates where I'm like, Yeah, you, you bungled the game for me. I'm not coming to save you. But that's different than, like, you know, quitting on them. Look at that. Look at that. It wouldn't even let me do my needle because I didn't have enough charges, even though I'm like tapping it right away. Like, nope. No needle for you. 
I swear you gotta have like one charge left. You have to use like one second of a med kit to get a needle to work. I didn't bring any extras on this med kit, so it was a waste. I don't understand why people DC while being morried on last hook. Yeah, that's silly. Like you're out of the game. Why wouldn't you just take your points and go? It's like you still got morried. It still happened, you know? You might as well take your points for it. It's getting hot in here. I'm too dumb to use Sybil's healing perk, uh, to use the bottle or the syringe. So I just use Sybil's healing perk. I recognize that this syringe was going to be a problem. Okay, so she's locking some stuff down here now. I need built to last. Again, you know, everything is situational. Like if, if somebody sandbagged you or kept looping around a gen or something, if you're like, yeah, I can't with these teammates. She didn't kick this. Main gen, if you can do it, please. On top of that, you don't have to fully be in the basement to use it. Seriously, melatonin? You just have to be like on these stairs to use it? What? You just have to be kind of subterranean? Is that what you're telling me? Halfway down the stairs. So like, if your head so happy. Jennifer Tilly is so happy. I would give it a try. I know Mittens has been running it lately. Okay, where's another gen? Here's one. Son, are you downstairs or you upstairs? Can you bring my wallet either way? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ah! 
Strength and shadows. Yeah, apparently you don't have to be all the way down in the basement to use it. You can use it on the stairs. She's hooking me on the end of this building here, so she's gonna be up there in a minute. Hello? Hello? Okay, let's you and me reset, Miko. She's not going to wander all the way over here. Noah loves you, Jordan. This is the uh, the website, EBD leaderboard. That's the website if you want to look at it. Min says hi, Jordan. All right. Where's the third gen at? There's two on this dock. One in the corner, no. Tweety says, hi, Jordan. She's trolling, trolling main up there. Oh, it's back here. Look at this. Smart for her to try and draw me close to the three gen so she can guard it. Okay, we're gonna go reset again. Where are we? the needle. I don't have a charge left. It'd be better if you guys were on the same den, but... Feast for the Entity, medical expert, made it out alive, blood rising, time played in days. Yeah, there's only like six stats there, but it's better than nothing. Pansy's gonna get the gen done! Boom! 
Adrenaline. Uh oh. Charles is picking up. Charles is dropping. Charles, Tiffany's coming. Tiffany's coming, Benson. No! Oh! Crawl for that shack. That's where the hatch is. Crawl for shack. You want to react to true reacting to coconut reacting to slushies video? Yes. Yes, that's what I want. Okay, how's this My Little Pony drop going here? Is it selling out? What's happening? Join the queue. Is there a line or can I buy right away? Less than a minute to wait. Sold about half the packs in 20 minutes. My little pony, apocalypse pony. Oh, maybe it wasn't in Shaq because we played bloody party streamers. I'm not sure. What are they doing? Oh, they want you to get the door. Oh, look at that. Wow, that's a bobblehead if I've ever seen one. Look at that. Look at that little chicken neck. Look at that bobblehead doll. We're gonna keep it going. It's my turn to buy My Little Pony. There's no line anymore. I could buy it again if I want. My little pony, apocalypse pony. What is my credit card number? Boop, 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 boop.
My house burned down. What's your social security number? Boop. My Little Pony purchased. Uh, yeah, they haven't even sold half of the packs. Pulling right down now, I think. There's like no line. I don't have a PS5. What's your postal code? No. My Little Pony. This one. The Twitch chat isn't going over to YouTube. Uh-oh. Not? Vice versa? Yes. Stream broken. Okay, my little pony secured. Oh, jeez. Okay, I need somebody to finish my heal. So I don't run into the same problem. Friend? Friend? Friend who I just saw over here, where did you go? Friend, friend. Heal me, friend. Why are you hiding, friend? Okay, let's go. Come on. Back to the fray. So now I will have enough juice in my syringe. Is it deadlock?
Well, don't give up on me. School chocolate daddy's on that gen. Okay, give Penzi some room to work. I feel like there's another gen out there that had a lot of progress, might be up in the building. Maybe that's it. Maybe Penzi's back on it. Okay, they get that locked in, and then... Oh, the Chocolate Daddy's gen is somewhere over there. So if I can get this done, they get that done. Idea is deadlock. Okay. Okay. So that's what was delaying that gen up there. This is Chocolate Daddy's gen? No, there's gotta be a better one than that. Here it is. Okay, if you two wanna work this, I'll go back to the shack. I might feather this depending on what happens let them get some progress and let either their gen get locked at 99 well never mind they quit wasn't looking good for them sad little demi I'm Squidward, I'm Squidward, I'm Squidward, I'm Squidward, I'm Squidward, I'm Squidward. So there you got to see how that new sloppy came in, right? It didn't last forever. It only lasted for 90 seconds. So I was like, when I first started healing myself with my medkit, I'm like, crap. I'm going to be in the same situation I was in last game, where I'm either faced with using my whole med kit to heal myself and then I don't have any charges left over for the needle or if I stop and have another teammate top me up then I'm going to lose all of my progress because of the sloppy butcher but now with the sloppy butcher change I was able to heal until the sloppy effect ran out and then park my healing so yeah that's a nerf for sloppy for sure I was like, I'm going to have to use the whole med kit. And then I saw the sloppy was degrading. And I'm like, oh. Okay. That's 2.30 for me. I'm going to go. I'm going to open up my My Little Pony packs. You want to see me open up a My Little Pony pack? Just for fun? Something new and different? You want to see how these My Little Pony packs work? What do you say? All right, let me move my stuff around here. Do, 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 do. What do we do? Hmm. 
My Little Pony Apocalypse Pony. All right, so there's my receipt, my purchase. Open packs. Okay, here we go. Change the view here. This one? How close is Penzi now? I don't know. I think he said he's going to have it by the end of the day. So we're going here. This is gambling, everyone. Well, Sort of. Not really, because you get something for your purchase, but you know, you don't it's like a loot box. It's like a Funko loot box. My thing I'm looking for. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Uh I don't know. Like this maybe? Here's my My Little Pony packs that I just bought for $30 each, and we're hoping to get a physical pop. I'm 99. 99.96. Okay. Which pack looks lucky? Oh, look, 1702. If it had been 1701, it'd be like Star Trek, right? Let's try this low number pack. My Little Pony open. Here we go. Turn the sound on. We've got to get the full experience here. Pack number 184 out of 8,500. Open. My Little Pony. All right, here we go. So we've got 17 cards, and we're going to reveal them. And they're either going to be common, uncommon, rare, epic, legendary or grail you put together the whole set from commons to epics you can get uh, a free pop for that otherwise if you want a free pop you have to pull a legendary or a grail card those are good for redeemable um redeemable pops here we go reveal uncommon applejack so that one's like worth a nickel basically Common Rainbow Dash, same thing. Uncommon Rarity. Common Rainbow Dash. Yeah, that's the best card you can get. <laughs> that's like a, that's like a, a, I don't know, a quarter of a percent chance to get the Daybreaker Grail. There's only 999 of these. So that's the maximum amount of these pops that are going to be made. Daybreaker Grail. Rare Pinkie Pie. That one will be worth like about a quarter. The, the Daybreaker will probably be like a $200 card. Rare Pinkie Pie. Did I just get the same one two times in a row? I think so. Epic Rainbow Dash. These are going to be worth between $5 and $10, and you'll have to get all of the epics to put together that complete set. So there's some value there. Another epic. So I'll be able to trade off the duplicate Rainbow Dash for another epic that I need to put the whole set together. Rare Rarity. Rare Rainbow Dash. Uncommon Rarity. Three epics and a grail in one pack. That is a great pack. Epic Fluttershy. Common Twilight Sparkle. Common Pinkie Pie. Rare Fluttershy. And Common Fluttershy. Want to open another one? You want to see me get a poopy pack where they're all like a nickel and I spent 30 bucks for a nickel? Yes. Okay, we'll do it then. Number 913. Number 8. I mean, they they all have like very specific numbers, Noah. Common Daybreaker. Common Princess Twilight Sparkle. Common Daybreaker again. Common Daybreaker again. Three Common Daybreakers. 
Rare Rainbow Dash. Uncommon Rarity. Common Rarity. Rare Fluttershy. Common Rainbow Dash. Common Twilight Sparkle. Common Rarity. Common Princess Twilight Sparkle. Common Daybreaker. Rare Twilight Sparkle. Uncommon Rainbow Dash. Rare Twilight Sparkle. And Uncommon Applejack. So that pack's going to be like worth about a buck. The cards that are in there. That's why the grail was like a ooh. Uncommon Pinkie Pie, rare King Sombra, common Twilight Sparkle, common Applejack, common Princess Twilight Sparkle, common Pinkie Pie, epic Fluttershy, that's a good card. Uncommon Rainbow Dash, Uncommon Rainbow Dash, Common Pinkie Pie, Common Princess Twilight Sparkle, Common Daybreaker. I definitely don't need that one anymore. Got that one up to the gills. Uncommon Twilight Sparkle, Uncommon Fluttershy, Common Fluttershy, Uncommon Twilight Sparkle, and Common Princess Twilight Sparkle. Well. Uncommon Rainbow Dash, common. Oh, there we go. We got another legendary. So this is for a redeemable. Not as good as the Grail, but I can get a pop for this. So that's what we're trying to get out of these packs. Legendary Princess Twilight Sparkle. So there's going to be like 1,700 of these. When are they finally going to do the thing? Uh, that's not Warner Brothers, right? Because there's a new Warner Brothers NFT line coming out. Common Rainbow Dash, Uncommon Fluttershy, Rare Rarity, Rare Pinkie Pie, Uncommon Twilight Sparkle, Uncommon Pinkie Pie, Uncommon Rarity, Uncommon Fluttershy, Epic Twilight Sparkle, Common Rarity, Common Fluttershy, Uncommon Applejack, Common Princess Twilight Sparkle, and Common Pinkie Pie. So now if we go in here, this will say what we have, and it'll say you have 89% of the whole set, and it'll show me which ones I'm missing. So I have all 12 of the commons, like one of these, I have five of the daybreakers here. I have nine out of the 10 uncommons, which that'll only cost like a nickel. See, the, there's the values right there. That's what they're going for in the marketplace already. I wanted to sell off my doubles or buy them. And here's the rares. I have all the rares, and I have four out of the seven epics, and I have one double. So I could, uh, they're going for like five bucks each. I could sell off my double epic here and buy one of these other ones. And then I think I have like, I don't know, I have $14 in my balance. So I could buy the other two that I'm missing, and I could be done and have the set done. And, but I don't have this one, 25 bucks. That's pretty cheap. And the Grail, okay, Grail's going for 120 out of the gate, the one that I pulled. So I've got, I don't have Applejack. So that's the only other one that I'm missing out of this set, really. So I can just swap for these, be done, and not even have to open any more packs, which is probably what I'm going to do since I pulled the Grail. I think it's only downhill from here. So if we look on the website, learn more about my little, okay, let's see. Uh, view the physical collectibles. Does it give the, the chance to pull it? Normally it would say, like, what the your odds are. It's pretty low. So there's 1,700 of these Twilight Sparkles, only 999 of these uh, Daybreakers, and this is the one you get if I make the whole set, the King Sombra, which I'm only a couple cards short, so I can put the whole set together. I don't know that I want to keep on opening packs to get the Applejack. One more.
Do, 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 do. Ah. And they're still available. You can still buy these. Not going to sell out. But probably some of them are going to get burnt. That they won't be like the full amount sold. So the numbers that they say there are going to be. Hey, let's see what if I click on this, will it tell me the odds? I don't think it says the odds. It's usually like a really low percentage chance to pull a grail. So I got the best card. Spooky. So people have broken the packs and there have been 318 of these pulled already. Some, of these, some people are like deep into this, like 318 of them pulled, but some people have du uh, duplicates because there's two, only 255 people who have this card. So, like, 60 people who have more than one. Nutty. Now it's going up to 127. The market will fluctuate, right? Supply and demand, as with anything else. So, I'm happy for, you know, my purchase that I got these two, and I'm going to be able to make the set. Anyway, that's a little glimpse into my little Funko world on the side and what goes on with all that. <laughs> I love watching these get open. Uh, very happy to have gotten that grail. Okay, so we'll see you tonight. Have a great night, everybody. We'll be playing some more DBD this evening, and good luck to Penzi on his quest for Devotion 100. Pretty incredible. My desktop. Yeah, I like that graphic. Have a great day, everybody. Love y'all. Bye!